metaphysical studies people have done, you always have to believe it ahead of time, and you've got to, you know, not have any doubt, and you've got, you know, all that stuff. Heck with that. Doubt it. I was at the consciousness conference in Tucson with Chris, <laughs> and I had a big sign. Chris made it for me. It said, "Consciousness affects matter." Free demo. Here I'm at the consciousness conference, with, surrounded by scientists everywhere, and this one guy comes up to me a little bit arrogant. He's okay. What do you got? I said, well, I'm going to demonstrate that I can adjust your posture without touching you. Uh, and, he, and I'll just measure you before and after to see if it worked. He goes, well, that's impossible. I said, great, hold that thought. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, to make it even a little more challenging for me, why don't you kind of lock your hips? And I measured him. I said, oh, wow, you're about as far off as anybody I've ever seen. It was like, like radically, radically high. And I said, okay, lock your hips and make it really hard for me. So he does, and, you know, 10 seconds later, I'm measuring him. I go, oh, look, completely even, front and back, how about that? He goes, oh, well, of course, you used reverse psychology on me. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I said, well, that's an interesting hypothesis. I said, do you consider yourself an empirical scientist or faith-based? He said, well, empirical. I said, oh, great, then why don't you hang out and watch me do this five or ten more times and see if I'm using reverse psychology. <laughs> and he said, hey, if I let myself believe this just happened, everything I know about science would fall around me like a house of cards. <laughs> well, as an empirical scientist, don't you want to let the cards fall where they will? <laughs> <laughs> And he said, not today. <laughs> <laughs> and he just walked away. Wow. And so when I have somebody just tell me it's impossible, I said, oh, so you're a faith-based scientist. What do you mean? Well, you have absolute faith that there's a material and logical explanation for everything that happens in the reality. You're operating out of total faith that you can find a simple, material, logical, reasonable explanation for everything that exists. So you're faith-based. Hallelujah. <laughs> they don't like that. <laughs> and then he pisses them off. <laughs> but that's true, because the materialist point of view, that everything is material, is extremely faith-based. To assume that everything's going to fit within the narrow parameters of your beliefs. And I find the reality is much more interesting than that. Because when you can demonstrate on the most close-minded, cynical person that this works immediately, you know you're doing something. But as they say in physics, energy is never lost. So what happens when you put energy out there and you don't see the results? It's not lost. It's doing something. You just don't see it.